Welcome to Yorkshire Monkeys Backstreet Tours of Bradford. What a lovely hall it is. See if we can get on his way. This is just on way up to uh, Lum Lane, the famous Lum Lane. Famous for, of all things, prostitutes. It used to be the main, main area for uh, prostitution in Bradford. Uh, and also, <coughs> no, just wet. Uh, also, it's where Jack the Ripper plied his trade. How long here? Not Jack the Ripper, Yorkshire Ripper. Uh, he got quite a lot of his victims up here. I mean, he did. Were it 13 women? But, uh, yeah. Predominantly uh, Asian area now. Uh, just looking for somewhere to turn around because I don't want to be going this way, really. There we are, we can turn around here. So that goes on to, I can't remember the name of that road that runs along the bottom. In fact, we will go that way and I'll come back down. Turn right here. This leads us on to uh, that's a new beehive pub there. Actually, just coming round in front of us now. Really cracking pint in there. Right, just coming up here is this is Manningham area coming up to, and this is where the Manningham riots were. Uh, probably about 20 years ago, something like that. Um, where the tree is there, there used to be a pub called the Melbourne. Give better give way, Anna. Uh, a pub called the Melbourne. And from behind there, there was somebody, when all these race riots were going on, firing a crossbow at police. It's that there, actually, where that uh, Olivia thing is, that raise it a restaurant. No, I don't know. Uh, yeah, some sort of restaurant. That was the Melbourne pub, and it was somewhere behind there, behind the houses somewhere, that they were firing a crossbow at place that were in a line across the road, and there were riots that went on for days and days and days. That's not an unusual sight up here. Couldn't have happened to a nicer chap. I think he did, uh, he murdered about 13, 14 women, something like that. Not a nice person. Right, here we go, Oak Lane. There are the riots that were down there, all carried on down round here, and it were, uh, it were basically police against the youths, uh, predominantly Asian youths. That were, I don't know what they were writing about, but like I said, it's a predominantly Asian area. Asian as in uh, Pakistani and etc. And they were aggrieved about something, something had gone on. Sorry, Carlisle Road, not Oak Lane, Carlisle Road. Just strolling across the road, fucking hell. Right, we're nearly around in a circle here because if, uh, if you turn right at this junction coming up, that takes you back onto Lum Lane, so we're just in one big circle. And it's not down here I want it to be, it's next one over, I think. So I wanted to show you a mill. Yeah, I've got my bearings, I know where we are, we need to turn left here. I think. Much of the same, really, same sort of houses, same areas. But, you know, as years go by, 
shit happens, doesn't it? Right, if we can get parked up up here, I'll show you this. Uh, what I was on about earlier on. Right, coming up on your right hand side here, just after the traffic lights, is uh, I believe it's Cartwright Mills. Look at that. Right, shit, no place I wanted to park, so I parked up. Uh, let's see if we can get on here. It's all blocked up, right? That's your main, that's your chimney there, but you ought to better see it. Uh, if I can get a bit further on here, get parked up. There we are. Look, let's have a look at you. Right, that's the chimney we're on about, and at the top there, you can drive. It's that big. You can drive a horse and cart round it. And that obviously served all of these mills here, and there's two of these. Right, let's get going again. Get going where I want to be. Not sure if you can get out around the back end here. But yeah, you tell by the sides of the bloody mill, it's just a vast, vast, huge thing. Spin it around here. This were all houses here on the left hand side that they've all cleared. Now that's all abandoned now, I think, that in front here on the right hand side. Again, no doubt it's going to be another mill complex. Urban splash on that gate there, look, that's uh, how we turned all the mills into. Habitats, shall we say. Right, coming up, facing us as we pull out of this junction, I'm not sure how long I'll be able to stay sat there. Uh, Manningham Police Station. Toller Lane Police Station as it's called. Now this on the nights of those riots. There were hordes of people down here. And there were five of them in petrol station. And bricking it and stoning it. And what else they could throw at it, they throw at it. Everything including kitchen sink I think from what I can gather. Uh, and it become, became known as the fortress, oh yeah look, the fortress. I want to say it was late 80s, early 90s. Sounds about right, does that. But yeah, I'll go back on that way. It's going to be busy whichever way we go now. Just need to drop into the bottom of Bradford, pick a few bits up for Missus, and uh, job sorted. So I hope you've enjoyed your tour around uh, the fabulous back streets of uh, Bradford. Oh no, I know where we are now. We're back round onto where I'm on about the riots started. No one uh, no one knew where I wanted to be, but you know, we shall uh, carry straight on and go down the Hamstrass. I think that'll be the easiest way. That pub that's now the restaurant, that they've knocked, I'm sure they've knocked some of it down. They might have knocked it all down and rebuilt it. Uh, because it used to be like glazed tile on the outside years ago. And I'm presuming the. Uh, shall we go around some more back streets? What do you think? I need to get down to Foster Square. But I'm just thinking if I go this way, it's just going to be fucking snarled up. Which way? Which way shall we go? Choose now. Come on, quickly. 
So I'll do it, we'll go this way. Back up Grace Church straight up to Long Lum Lane again. Here we are again on the lovely Lum Lane. I think if I turn right, that white building there on the left used to be a pub, used to deliver, used to be a dra bit of a drayman type uh, beer delivery in my misspent youth. And I used to uh, deliver that, it used to be a bar. In fact, the mills where I've just shown you, there used to be a silk club there, and that was at Miller Workers before it was shut down. It was delivered up there as well. Coming down here onto Manningham Lane. This could quite possibly be the most boring video you've ever watched. It's going to be 20 minutes, half an hour long, and you're just driving around the back streets of Bradford. Lovely jubbly. That there on the left used to be uh, Dollars and Dimes nightclub for those of you of a certain age. There used to be a pub there called. Uh, if I can get through here without. Sorry, it wasn't there, it was here where Sovereign Healthcare is. Just here on the left. Uh, called the Royal Standard. In fact, I think it was where we said to start with. Uh, Royal Standard, and it, it was all the original Victorian uh, mirrors and glass uh, and tiled mosaic floors and all sorts absolutely beautiful pub but uh, fell into disrepair and ended up burning down surprise surprise but they used to have a lot of the uh, indie bands when they were first starting out used to play there I've been to gig after gig after gig there in my misspent youth good grief in fact Bramford as a whole Used to be buzzing in the 80s for gigs. Bradford St George's Hall, I've seen everybody and anybody that exists these days has played there when they first started. I've seen Metallica there twice at Bradford St George's. Kiss, Ozzy Osbourne, Motor, I've seen Motorhead there about eight times, eight million times. Iron Maiden a couple of times, Magnum, Zodiac Man. The list goes on and on and on and on. How, how many people play Bradford St George's Hall? Then it just stopped for some reason. Not sure what. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Bollocks. Whoa! You fucking knob. Here we are. More mills. that aren't mills anymore. Big old derelict things. Sad. Very sad indeed. Right, where's own bargains gone? Go oh, great place is me, you know. Right, let's be kind, let's let some people out. I'll do my good deed for the day. Come on! Come on, get your Chelsea tractor in that bloody way. Dear me. Gonna find somewhere to park. Bloody hell! What's going on? Ah, somewhere there. Look, we have a space there. It's coming, just coming on the outer road. Instead of going out on the outer road, I went in on the outer road. Whoops, a daisy. Right, monkeys. That concludes your backstreet tour. Uh, ranting and ramblings of the Yorkshire Monkey. 
I hope you enjoyed that and that's half an hour of your life you are never going to get back. Hope you enjoyed it folks, catch you soon, stay safe.